Alexa, play Careless Whisper. Let me know how that worked out for you down in the comments. Welcome back to my channel, and if you've never been here before, well, neither have I. Everything is a lie. Awesome. My dog just died. That's not the point of today's video. What is the point of today's video? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. If this is your first time on my channel, <laughs> it's not likely to get better. Today, we're continuing our coverage of coverage, like we're journalists here. Like, we're we here. It's just me sitting in front of a washer with a full face, just talking to a camera. Anyway, we're continuing our coverage of Gabby Hanna's uh, return to YouTube. Uh, so I apologize if you don't like my Gabby Hanna content uh, or if you feel like I talk about her too much. I get you. Um, but there's something about her that just piques my curiosity, so... Maybe she'll bore me soon. Who knows? And also, there's some other goodies brewing. So if you're a part of my Patreon or uh, you are part of the members... If you're a member of my channel, um, there's a poll going up soon. I'm going to do a... Another movie content. So you can vote in the poll. So that's coming up soon. I feel like there's something in my eye. <coughs> Anyway, the link to join Patreon or the membership thing, join the memberships on YouTube. I don't know, however you, however you phrase that where it makes sense. That's all below. I'll remind you about it later. Let's call the call to action. Before we get started, make sure to like the video, subscribe, whatever. Do whatever. Do it. You know what? You do your life the way you gotta do it, okay? Be here or don't, but don't half-ass anything. Before we get into video number two that Gabby has posted, since she returned to YouTube, I do want to address a couple of things um, that I saw in the comments of my last video, which if you haven't seen, uh... Um, so in the last video, I mentioned that Gabby's sort of focus on food, her uh, certain motions or things that she was showing off in her video, and the way she spoke about working out um, kind of rang of uh, potential flare-up of an ED um, as well as uh, potential like uh, workout addiction and that was literally the extent to which I spoke about these things of the day there's a man on my balcony uh, doing some fucking projects today I'm not sure what's going on here um, with this leg lifting and seeing the shorts thing feels like potentially and please don't don't come for me if you disagree but it feels kind of like a body check in a way um maybe not maybe she's just likes her adidas shorts i was queen of the carbs today i had a banana i think i also had some strawberry if i'm not mistaken yep yep I love summer fruit. Me too, but I ate Cheetos today. Everyone talks about how hard it is to go to the gym, but nobody talks about how hard it is to not go to the gym. <sighs> okay. At this point, I'm feeling like this segment has a little bit of ED, a little bit of workout addiction kind of meshed together. Again, could be wrong. But I had a few really angry comments talking about how I was making light of uh, and uh, like sort of um, exploiting someone's potential eating disorder or making something out of nothing. Um, and the reality is, is that I pointed these things out entirely from a place of concern, first of all. And second of all, I literally just sort of noted them because those were things that sort of showed themselves when things got bad before um and now it's sort of habitual to kind of look for the pattern because this is like the third year in a row where you know we're kind of watching out for the pattern that has shown itself with gabby 
um, but I didn't comment on the fact that she potentially had an ED. I didn't comment on, wow, workout addictions are bad, obviously. I'm not a workout addiction bitch. But um, I literally just kind of noticed these things. And there were these diatribes in my comments about how it's disgusting that I'm I'm judging someone for potentially having an eating disorder and all of this, and I'm not judging anyone for that. Why would I judge anyone for having an eating disorder? There are so many other things in one's character <laughs> that uh, have, especially in regards to Gabby, uh, there are so many things in her character that she has done to people or... Um, that she has fabricated or whatever, why would I go for the a low-hanging fruit or something so um, life-critical like an eating disorder? I wouldn't. Um, which is why my comment to these people was, okay, you must be new here, because that's not what I do. I can be a snarky, sarcastic bitch for sure. Like, that's kind of part of my brand. I'm like a millennial B. Arthur. Hi, Rose. We brought dinner. What'd you get? A bucket of chicken. <laughs> but like, I would never make fun of someone for having an eating disorder or <laughs> a workout addiction or any any sort of thing like that. So I just wanted to be super clear about that. If that was how that like that was um, perceived, that was not my intent. Um, and I uh, I don't think. If you actually watch the video, you'd really get that intent, unless I'm wrong, in which case I'll eat my words, but I, I would never rag on someone for having an eating disorder, or, or I'd have a hundred Eugenia Cooney videos. You know, I'm not about to sit here like I'm the epitome of health and go, oh, <laughs> that person's not taking care of themselves. So I just wanted to be super clear about that. Um, I also wanted to be super clear about the fact that because I have changed the way I approach talking about Gabby, which is in a sort of more middle ground area, it doesn't mean I am forgiving or absolving Gabby of, excuse you, I'm not absolving Gabby of anything. I think Gabby has been a shithead to a lot of people. I do believe that she owes a lot of people an apology, a big one. Um, I do believe she owes her audience an apology, um, but just because I'm not out here going, wow, what a fucking bitch, that doesn't mean I don't think that, uh, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that I think that Gabby should be, like, given a mulligan, because, <laughs> like, she's proved time and time and time again that she's a, a problem. <laughs> So, um, I'm not, I'm not here to say, hey, forgive Gab, let's give her another chance. Like, if you don't want to give her another chance, don't give her another chance. I, all I said was that I was very cautiously optimistic. Is that already depleting? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, again, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. Alexa. <laughs> I don't have an Alexa, by the way. So those were my disclaimers about my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, uh, if you want to get mad about it, you know, there was a link in the cards, so act fast. So let's get into the second video called $700 Thrift Haul. First, let's take a look at the thumbnail. Looks great. Half real Gabby, half drawn Gabby. I will say I love that Gabby's hair is back to dark. Let's watch this video. It's currently sitting at 51,000 views. It was uploaded 11 days ago, which... It's been a hell of a week. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yesterday, I tried to do a makeup tutorial in one minute. That was not enough time. So today, I'm going to try to do it in three minutes. And I actually think that that's really doable. Okay, so lately I've been starting with liquid blush. This one is Rare Beauty. I don't know what the shade is. Please ignore me. Sometimes. Oh, I just be talking to talk! Well, that sounds about right, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Oh, we got time, baby. This is actually a luxury compared to yesterday. 
you know, trying to do it all in a minute. I have three times that right now. And the experience that I did not have before. Okay, now I am halfway through, so I gotta hurry the fuck up. Uh, powder it down real quick. Oh, I forgot to put it on my lip. I'm such a dumb fuck. Honestly, this is the most relatable makeup tutorial I've ever seen. <laughs> so it is a little eyeshadow. How am I in the same position I was in yesterday? This is crazy. Um, blush. Wow, this looks like shit. Way to start my day. See, I had to start my day making content, and now I look fucking absurd for the day. That's like me anytime, anytime I make content. And that's what I get for not learning my lesson. I, I did not do my morning stretches, didn't meditate or go for a walk or anything good for me. Aww. I haven't done anything good for myself in about five years. Just fucking putting that out there. You know, some people go to work at like 5 a.m. and they also don't have time to do those things or like eat breakfast or see their families, so. Not that it's it's all relative, you know, everybody's problems are relative, but like Never mind. I got straight on my phone Man, I'm so good at fucking procrastinating guys. I have a problem. Really? I would have guessed that you had absolutely no problems whatsoever based on like the last minute or so. Everything seems to be going really great. I love this with like no context <laughs> like it's like we just literally walked in on her, like, doing her makeup. There's no beginning. It just is. Like, I really go too hard with everything I do. I gotta do something else today. I did social media all day yesterday. Now see what happens? I fucking mascara on my fingers. My makeup is done, though. I have some time to spare. Great. Then you can fit in those stretches. Right? <sighs> Welcome to the Gabby Show. I feel like I never left. I feel like it's just been going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Here's my issue. When I just wear clothes down, it's like no ass. I want to show my ass, but I don't want to show. Whoa. Wait a minute. Hello, motherfucker. Hey, hi. How you doing? With a cadence like that, shouldn't you be using racist slurs and slaughtering your yaks for meat? Hi, how are ya? 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 Oh, it's not, that's not Jeffree Star. <laughs> Get your own personality. It's not that hard. It is, I have no personality. Wait, just... A gosh darn minute. Am I hot as fuck? You're self-absorbed as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, you look good. She looks good. Boy oh boy. Without the crippling depression, the crippling anxiety really has some fucking room to shine. Man. With that, Caden, shouldn't you be stalking your ex-wife? And like interrupting Taylor Swift in an award show. Walt Disney is dead. Name somebody living. It's not it's not Kanye. Oh. We get it. You think this is your Kanye moment. Um it's not. Oh my god, I'm so afraid to fly. <laughs> like I'm not so afraid to fly, but oh my god, I'd so much rather not. Not even the idea of, you know, impending death. We're not manifesting that. Girl, are you okay? What is happening? This feels like an absolutely disjointed nightmare to watch. Packing, you might leave something behind. Sleep schedule, food schedules. That's just me, right, right. I have OCD too. Yeah, cause you know, having routines and schedules always just means that you have OCD because other people who don't have OCD they don't even know about schedules they don't they couldn't even pronounce it not at all um but um it's pretty cool the way Gabby treats mental illnesses like fucking Pokemon ADHD OCD autism bipolar disorder 
what else did I miss anything I'm sure I did well she's exact anxiety depression sure yeah gotta you gotta catch them all I just posted a YouTube video and I can't believe the people in the comments already I fucking miss you too we need more Gabby content we miss you I fucking miss you too welcome back thanks for waiting oh my god happy to see you back been watching you from the beginning it's so crazy to see how much you've evolved fuck I've missed all of you! You didn't have to go anywhere! What's that? Too loud? Sorry. I love these sandals. But there is one problem. Just the left one. So I'm gonna go to Doc Martin and, <laughs> and see if they'll just give me a new pair. Did she just say that she's gonna go to Doc Martin and see if they'll give her a new pair of Doc Martin? Absolutely the relatable content I signed up for. Only a famous person with a lot of fucking money has the audacity to be like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to that store that sells really expensive shit and just see if I can exchange this or if they'll just give me a new one. Oh, I, I, did, I sell the bag. Just gonna wear them to the store. Doc Martin said no, but I went to the thrift store and found some dope shit. What do you mean Dr. Martin said no? <laughs> do they even know who you are? I'll be having a word with Dr. Martin myself. You did good, kid. You did real good. I got a lot of jackets and outerwear even though it's summer because I just really couldn't pass them. Oh, we get it, you have a fucking nipple. I'm up, look at this little denim jacket. I will wear this in the spring and summer and I love the little white skirt. Look at this gypsy dress from Madewell. Cute dress, bad name, but a really cute dress. I want one, Madewell, got it. I was gonna say, where can I get it? She j literally just said it. I wasn't sure about this little set at first, but look at it. I do love it together, and I do love this top on its own, zipped up to the top. I will definitely be wearing it. Hell yeah, Bane Summer Chic. And look at me finishing my day with a full Skims Velour sweatsuit. I got a little carried away, but let's do a full haul, and let me know if you want to see a full try-on where I style the pieces that I got, because some of them on their own might, might look a little bit like, mm. That sounds like... Ask me, because it's a tax write-off. <laughs> I got compliments on this as I was checking out, so I'm excited about this. You yourself got compliments on a very basic Adidas cropped sweatshirt that you could get from literally anywhere. It's fucking tight! Leather skirt that I honestly mostly got to go under like large sweaters. White tennis skirt, I'm going to Austin and I need some lightweight breezy stuff. So I figured I'd use this. I stumbled on a treasure. These are 95 Air Max LA versus New York City. I also got a shiny pair of Doc Martens even though Doc Martens would not replace my squeaky shoes. Why is this a $700 thrift haul when this woman literally lives in a $2 million home? Like, I'm all for being thrifty and frugal and all that shit. Good for you. Save your money. Do what you gotta do. But, like, what about, like, people who can't afford to buy this stuff at full price? Because, like, Gabby could afford to, to buy this stuff full price. Can poor people just fucking have anything? At all? Ever? What? No. Got it. No. The answer was no. I literally could not believe this. I tried on two different pairs of Tims. I've been wanting Tims, and as I was checking out, I saw a pair of brand new Tims in my fucking size. Are you kidding me? I wish that I or somebody else was fucking kidding you. Oh, I also got some yellow Crocs. I don't buy leather new, but I will buy it secondhand. And I have been wanting a neutral brown leather jacket for a fucking minute. I'm. Stoked with the tips. I love this. It's actually really lightweight. I love it with this. <laughs> My windows just fucking blew out. Gabby must have gotten a new piece of clothing. I am always game for a pair of mega oversized overalls. For show. For show. She was a hoe. For show. This, on the other hand, is polyurethane. I said that right. It's polyurethane. Thrift a dictionary while you're at it. For show. I liked the color though. I am a maroon bitch. I am a maroon bitch. I've made a lot of Gabby Hanna videos. Um, 
I don't think I've ever seen this maroon bitch wear maroon. But, good for her. This little one-two combo that you saw in the Rip With Me video, denim jumper. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. And on that note, this reminds me of something that I would wear in high school. I'm just seeing it on like a summer night out in like a fucking like field or like in a show or something with like a little headscarf or like out in the desert. I don't know. I don't mean to be like Buzz Killington bitch face over here, but like, I just, I, that's never gonna happen. I just remember all of these like sad, and I mean this like actually sad videos of her being like posting on her Instagram. Anybody want to go get yogurt or something? And she's like, I just went by myself. And it's like, <sighs> cute dress though. I'll give her that. I really like that dress. It's really adorable. Anyway. A full Skims velour jumpsuit. Are you fucking me? I cannot stress how much I am absolutely not fucking you. Not even a little. I had her throw this little white dress in. I didn't try it on, but I figured it would be helpful on my trip to Austin just to have it, because pretty staple. And then I also have the fucking denim jacket that I am obsessed with. I love the fit. I love the wash. I love how breezy it is. And last and certainly least, I got this little Zara cropped polo. Well, if you or a loved one are in the greater LA area and you love thrifting, I'm sorry to tell you, but Gabby Hanna, the maroon bitch, just bought all of it. All of it. Ever. Forever. No pores allowed. What's that? Okay, sorry. Get ready with me to go out in LA. Social anxiety edition. Social anxiety, Pokemon. <laughs> And so my phone reminds me to go to bed at like 9 p.m. It shuts down. I don't get like fucking notifications and shit. This was at 11 p.m. So I wasn't in my best state. That being said, my best friend is leaving fucking L.A. after eight years. I'm so sad. But look how good my makeup turned out. Well, that is always a consolation when you lose your best friend. <laughs> you're, I don't mean this in like, you're 30 because I'm 36. But like, I, 30 30 and going out at 11 p.m. I actually felt really fucking stunning in the face. She should. She looks great. Outfit was a little bit casual because it was late and I was just trying to dance. And baby, did we fucking dance? Again, I ask, is this fucking content? <laughs> I mean, I guess what I do is arguably content. I think it's better than the things that she was doing last year. The $700 thrift haul feels a little out of touch. I know that there are YouTubers and that there are influencers who do big hauls and expensive hauls and, um, you know, come thrifting with me and da da da. And if that was like the larger point of the video, I think it would be a little less like, uh, braggadocious i guess there's nothing linear happening here and i think that's what's frustrating me and maybe that's just a me problem but it's so smashed together it doesn't it's not cohesive i guess is what i'm trying to say there's nothing cohesive about it so anyway, this was that video. I'm so glad we got to do this. There will be one more because at least because Gabby did just put up another one recently. So <coughs> I'm going to go film that. And by go, I mean, I'm going to sit right here. And what? Sorry, I'm not going to ruin the movie magic. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a like. Please make sure you're subscribed if you have not already. Patreon, social media, memberships, all that good shit is in my bio. It's not in my bio, it's in the description below, but I wouldn't know that because I'm stupid. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one, bye. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know, I know you're, ex what? Nobody's talking, okay, got it. <laughs> That's enough.